We did it again, we the hardest around Took an old shoe and turned it into a crown Fresh in and over, we never bringing you trash And every time we do work, we at the head of a class You know what I'm saying? So long souls, yeah. so long souls uh -huh. So long souls Yo, what it is, y'all? Hey, appreciate y'all for tuning into the channel uh, we're gonna be working on some Air Force Ones today. I don't even know what to call this design, but we're gonna work on some Air Force Ones today. Um, maybe like a maybe like a masquerade or a Mardi Gras type theme. Uh, I had the shoes for sale, um, and one of my clients out in Atlanta purchased them, and then he said, "Hey, put this design on them," and then send them to me. So I was like, "Bet, let's do it." Um, so yeah, follow me on Instagram, man. When you follow me on Instagram, you get to see everything that I'm working on. I don't really post my restorations on YouTube, but I do restorations as well as customs. Um, and I post daily. So it's not, you ain't gonna see no ghost accounts. Plus man, I've been meaning to get on here, but I really don't post my restorations on YouTube. So I could be unyellowing. I, I showed y'all how to do it. I just don't show y'all every time I do it. Um, so currently I got some, uh, let me show y'all, man. Let me take a quick second. Let me show you. All right. So this is what I'm currently working on. Uh, these were beat to crap. Uh, I, un I unyellowed the bottoms, but they couldn't come all the way unyellowed. So he said, Hey man, just dye them. So I dyed the bottoms black, as you can see. Then I'm, after these finish drying, I'm going to, uh, acetone that and then paint it so those are coming along i got some the red 11s uh, they're done i just said hey i'm gonna unyellow them a little bit more tonight since i ain't gonna post them till tomorrow and then i got some uh 11s not uh the nines that i'm unyellowing i got a video on how to unyellow shoes i did two videos to show y'all because i know it's important so check those out these are the ones we're gonna be working on. So you know what we do first, acetone and cotton balls. We're gonna go around here. I'm gonna plug up my iron and see if I can't get a little bit of that wrinkle out. I wanna see if I can get better, get, get that to look better. But we're gonna take acetone, rub it on the areas where you're gonna paint. We're gonna be painting around here and around here. That's it. Nothing on the toe box, anything like that. It's gonna be a simple custom, but I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna try to use this pencil to write on the shoe first and see if it works. And if it does, then we'll go through the process of that. Uh, and if not, then we'll use this pen. And then we'll start painting. Peace. All right, so we've acetoned the shoe uh, with cotton balls and of course acetone. Uh, I got my pencil, my mechanical pencil. You can use a pen, you can use a paint pen. They've got a paint pen is a pen that um, this paint comes out, not ink. It's like paint. So, and you can get them fine tip like this. You can get them bigger. I showed y'all in my last video, uh, or maybe the video before that. I use Posca uh, paint pens, but this is just a mechanical pencil, and I'm just drawing on the shoe. So I'm just drawing a design. I'm following some patterns. And that's why I said it's kind of like maybe an Aztec type of uh, Mardi Gras type of masquerade theme. Just a bunch of random just designs and drawings that I'm gonna go back and paint black. That's the only color I'm gonna use on the shoe is black. So as y'all can see, you can see the designs that I'm uh, penciling in. And that's it. I'm just gonna do designs all the way around and then I'm gonna paint the Nike check black. I use Angelus paints for that. Uh, you know, so I'm gonna draw some more designs and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. This will be a very easy custom. I'm mainly gonna use this video to show y'all this custom and just kind of drop some, some knowledge and some, some tidbits for y'all. Show y'all what I've been working on. You saw earlier I was on yellow shoes, diamond shoes, repainting and all that stuff. So I'll tune back in with y'all in just a second. So we back. All right, so I wrote, I drew all the designs on the shoe. You can faintly see them. It's just an outline, you know, as you paint over the pencil, you can go back and change the design. I know I'm gonna do that with a few of these, but 
I'm gonna use these Posca uh, paint pens. It's paint, but it's just in a pen form. So if you're drawing something or anything like that, it's gonna be good. Cause you know what a paintbrush, you can paint, but these things give you more control, which I really like. I ordered these just to test it out. I've seen them several times on YouTube and other videos. So that's the name if y'all wanna look them up. I got mine off Amazon. I think it was like $14, I'm gonna get some more. You can look at the tip of it and it's like a medium tip. I'm gonna order some more uh, and see if I can get like a detail uh, brush or detail tip that's smaller and then I'm gonna get one that's bigger. Uh, and I'm gonna get some more colors because I like these, man. I used these on those Hunter Customs that I did a couple videos back. I liked it. I wish I had more colors because if like the color I really needed at one point was purple and this one didn't come with purple, but you know, so I'm gonna get a more, uh, I'm gonna get a, a wider variety uh, cause I really like these. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. These are the type of pens that you have to press down to get the ink or the, the paint to the bottom. It's those type of pens. So, and what I mean, like, you know, you get more clarity. So like this part right here, I'm gonna paint this little spike almost, whatever it looks like. You can just, boom, you can outline it and then just color it in. Very simple and you, and you stay, you stay in your line. It's easier than a paintbrush. Boom, look at that. Then I got this other shape. These are just like weird things I drew on here. That's what type of design he wanted, so. Boom. Boom, see how much control you got, man? I like this a lot better than a paintbrush. You know, so if I'm doing any type of drawing or detail work, and again, it's paint. So that's what you're gonna be using anyway. You don't have to fill these up or nothing. They come already ready. You just gotta press down on the tip a couple times to get the paint to come out. But boom shakalaka. Look at that, man. Look at that. So, man, and then, you know, you're still gonna use your finisher uh, for people who are new to the channel. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I should get an endorsement deal from these guys because I recommend them so much. <laughs> Liquid Kicks Official, that's what it looks like. Google it, Liquid Kicks Official or LK Shoes. They got different finishes. This is the matte finish. They got flat finish, factory finish, which is my uh, most popular one, factory finish, gives you a factory finish on your shoes. Uh, so use this to seal in the paint. So airbrush it on there or take a paintbrush and paint it on the shoes um, when you're done. And it'll you'll see the texture of your shoes is almost like a slippery texture, which is good. So um, that's how we doing it. There we go. That's how we doing it. I'm gonna finish painting these shoes. I'm gonna put the finisher on there and then I'm going to uh, um, show y'all some after pictures. Oh yeah, let me show y'all. Hey, if you deal with shoes, whether you restore them, customize them, anything, there's always some shoes that you have that you really like. Like, man, I've, I've wanted to put my hands the UNC threes just came through. I cleaned those for somebody. I've always wanted to, you know, put my hands on those. Now these, I wanted to put my hands on too. I got one of, uh, a friend of mine wants me to clean these. When I, now, some of y'all probably already seen this. This ain't new to y'all, you know, but this was new to me. So it comes in this nice, like tangerine type box. Then it comes in, like, each shoe comes in this. When he ripped these out, I didn't even know what they were in the bag. Of course, I know what they are when they're outside the bag. Fear of God. 
Ooh, man, I've always wanted to have a pair of these. Yo, these are freaking dope. Golly. Then, uh, then on top of that, you get another box. I was like, yo, what if we got the cream joint? Ooh, hoo, hoo. boy, I, I don't know. I don't, well, yeah, I would wear them because I wear all my shoes. I don't, I don't play that. I do not play that. If I have a pair of shoes, they getting worn. I'm not gonna sit there and have no shoes that I don't wear. But yo, these ones is fire. But anyway, I, uh, I'm back. So I'm gonna show y'all some pictures right now. Again, we the hardest around. Took an old shoe and turned it into a crown. Fresh in and never, we never bringing you trash. And every time we do work, we at the head of a class. You know what I'm saying? So long, so long, so long, so long.